Mother, the paper belongs to us. Why do we have to go to court to sell it? Perhaps because he never intended it to be sold. Oh, please, Mother. We've been over that a hundred times. The surrogate's court will decide that, Mrs. Garrison. Ed. Miss Garrison. What kept you so long? I was the expectant mother. Lousy. Hello, Ed. Alice. You're looking very well. Thank you. How's your husband? Oh, fine, just fine. It's fine, isn't it? Let's get this over with. I suppose you know why we're here, Mr. Hutchison. Practically everybody seems to know, except the people who work here. We're sorry about that. We thought it best to make a general announcement discreetly. The death of a newspaper is never discreet. Here we go again. The last will and testament of the late John Garrison, drawn up just prior to his death 11 years ago, designated as his heirs, his eldest daughter, Alice, his daughter, Catherine, and his wife, Margaret. Inasmuch as Catherine attained her majority last week and became entitled to a full vote, it was decided by the three stockholders... Decided? That... Unanimously? Of course. Um, any objections? Would it make any difference? None. And I have no objections. The reason it was decided... Must we go into detail? Continue. I don't feel well. My entire staff feels the same way. Oh, Ed. What do Alice or I know about newspapers? It gives you an income. We never even come down here except twice a year for You're meetings. invited every day. Mrs. Courtney's husband feels the money could be invested more wisely elsewhere. John Garrison founded this paper, not Mrs. Courtney's husband. We're taking care of you, Ed. What? We always try, anyhow. You ought to get 1% of the sale price. Your share will amount to slightly more than $50,000. Thank you. You're to notify all personnel they will receive two weeks' pay. Wait a minute. This sounds as if we're being closed down. Who's buying the day? What difference can it make? To the 1,500 people who work for you, it makes a lot of difference. Well, who is buying it? Or are you ashamed of it? Lawrence White is the buyer. White? We're being sold to the standard. Oh, I think I'm going to farm. So do I. Mr. White's paper is very successful. It will undoubtedly make this one more profitable, too. It won't be this paper anymore. It'll be lost in the standard. As far as we're concerned, his offer is a generous one. He's only buying our circulation features and goodwill. He's eliminating his competition, that's all. Mrs. Garrison, you've got to stop them. Your husband created a new kind of journalism, and you helped him. Take a look at the first paper you ever printed. Here, page one, quote, this paper will fight for progress and reform. We'll never be satisfied merely with printing the news. We'll never be afraid to attack wrong, whether by predatory wealth or predatory poverty. You're not selling the day, you're killing it. The hearing to approve the sale will take place in Surrogate's Court day after tomorrow. You'll be there, of course. I never go to funerals. I think I like that man. Too excitable. Much. It might be advisable to replace him until the sale is consummated. 